Insect populations around the world are in a state of rapid decline, and the stability of the entire natural world is at stake as a result. The largest and most widespread group of animals on the planet, insects account for approximately 80% of global species diversity and can be found on every continent on Earth, even Antarctica. As such, they represent a very large part of the food chain in many ecosystems, where they are a significant piece of the diet of many birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and mammals. Many insects are primary consumers, meaning they feed directly on plant matter, which makes them one of the few organisms which can translate the vast amount of energy generated by producers into a source which is consumable by carnivorous organisms. That means that they are not only a large part of the total biomass in an ecosystem, but also the foundation of the food chain, which are critical to energy transfer up to the higher trophic levels. Now that we know why insects are important, let's talk about their decline. A recent study published in the journal Biological Conservation compiled data on insect populations around the world and came to the startling conclusion that over 40% of all known species are in a state of decline, and about one-third of all known species are endangered. That is bad enough news on its own, but the study also found that the total mass of insects on the planet is falling by roughly 2.5% per year. When you consider that the total mass of all insects on the planet is estimated to be about 1 gigaton, that's 1 with 10 zeros. This means that we are losing about 250 million tons of insect biomass per year. But why could such an immense loss be occurring? While there are many contributing factors, most researchers agree that the practice of monoculture, or only growing a few species of crop, and global warming are the biggest factors influencing insect population decline. Monoculture destroys native vegetation which once served as insect habitat, replacing it with vast expanses of pesticide-ridden crops, and rapid temperature increases around the world are causing insects which have adapted to very specific living conditions to die out or have to relocate in order to survive. These two problems appear to be even more acute for pollinators such as moths, butterflies, and bees who rely on native flowering plants to sustain themselves. Native flowering plants, which are being destroyed for industrial agriculture or dying out due to elevated temperatures. This is an issue which impacts everyone living on the planet. No matter who you are, no matter where you live, you depend on insects for life. Whether it is the pollinators, which allow us to grow crops, or the primary consumers, which allow energy to be transferred to all other organisms, this is an issue which should be at the forefront of all of our minds. If populations continue to decline at the current rate, all insects could be gone within a century. It would mean the end of the world as we know it. But all hope is not lost. Everyone who is watching this video right now has the ability to make a positive impact for insects. The next time that you are shopping at the grocery store, try and select organic or local produce that was grown without the use of pesticides. If you have a yard, try letting native vegetation grow on the edges, rather than destroying the native ecosystem to have perfectly green grass. If you can't buy organic produce and don't have a yard, you can still help solve this problem by educating your friends and family about the insect crisis. Whether that means sharing this video on social media or starting conversations with those around you, I implore you to make topics such as this one a part of your daily discourse. I will try and do the same. Well everyone, that's all for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about the insect population issue. If you did enjoy, it would be great if you could leave a like. Also, please consider sharing this video with your network to help spread the word. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.